Thanks, Jerome. The regular season of the Ray and the Nevio Jamaica Premier League culminates on Sunday, and there are only two pieces of business to be completed. Firstly, the sixth and final qualifier to the playoffs, as well as the team that will join Mount Pleasant as the two automatic qualifiers for the semis. Former champions Waterhouse and Montego Bay United are locked on 40 points apiece, but one will be left in pain while the other will be prancing into the main dance of the season, the playoffs. Waterhouse have hit their straps in the last 10 games of the season, losing only twice and dropping points twice and have three straight wins leading into their clash with Harborview. The stars of the East have nothing but pride to play for, especially in a horrific season where they have lost eight of their last nine matches. Waterhouse were polished in their 3-0 win over Mullines United in match week 23 and the equation is simple on Sunday, win and they are through. The Jerusalem based team have the edge over Harborview with a 2-1 success in January, but in April it will not be used for comfort. The last game is not going to be a, a easy game. We're playing Harborview and there's an history between Waterhouse and Harborview, but as I said to you before, we have to continue to do our homework and we have to execute on match day. We are very confident. We are in good form now. We have been scoring a lot of goals. Also, we have been keeping out a clean sheet as well. So the, the team is very, very confident. On the other hand, Montego Bay United have a more difficult task as they must win and then hope for a defeat or draw for Waterhouse. However, they have the tough task of taking on second place Tivoli Gardens who are the league's leading scorers with 50 goals at the Montego Bay Sports Complex in Catherine Hall. But the form of the home team is giving optimism to head coach Nader Dos Santos. We have been uh, nine matches unbeaten. We won the last four matches. So we are on the run, you know. So tomorrow to play our best game to get the three points. Although, you know, it's a tough match. Dos Santos, who is not into conspiracies, is hoping that the urban matchup is tough and not handed on a plateau. I was a bit disappointed in the last round. Molines, I, I didn't understand pretty well what happened there because the, day, the, the match before they played as a World Cup final against us, which is right, which is right to be done. Anyone, I don't want easy match from nobody, right? But I hope, and I believe, I believe half of you are going to give them a hard time. So, but I, I, I don't want to think much about that. I, I have to think about what we have to do, and what we have to do is go out there and get these three points at home. Importantly, a win for Tivoli would seal a spot in the top two and a place in the semi-finals. Dropping points might bring danger for the West Kingston team with Cavalier lurking and able to pounce into second should they get the better of Mullines United at the Anthony Spaulding Sports Complex. Lime Hall Academy and Treasure Beach will bid their farewell to the nation's top flight on Sunday. All the matches kick off at 3.30. Jerome Foster, TVJ Sports. Let's go overseas now as Arsenal ensure.